Okay, we are at the MSTO Defense Show in Kelsa and I'm if with Joel Elmer from Lockheed Martin. Joe is a specialist from the Javelin anti-tank glider missile. And tell us about the system, and the development of the system, how it's uh, uh, upgraded to the new generation right. to, to uh, withstand a new threats that you can find out of uh, battlefields. Okay. Well, Javelin has been in service with the United States military since right around the mid-90s. It actually achieved full operational capability in 1996. Mm -hmm. Since that time, uh, we built over 45,000 Javelin missiles, 12,000 Javelin command launch units. It is the mainstay brigade combat team weapon for the United States Army and Marine Corps, and is projected to remain in service until the year 2050. Um, it has been upgraded over time to keep pace with the emerging threats. There are some upgrades currently underway for the system. Uh, two upgrades actually oriented at improving the missile and one upgrade that's oriented at improving the performance of the command launch unit. Uh, what these upgrades will do is reduce weight, improve range performance against targets. We'll be able to virtually double the capability to detect, recognize, and identify targets on the battlefield when we go to the, the upgraded systems. Um, we will achieve better capability to lock targets at longer ranges, which is obviously one of the hallmarks of Javelin because it is a fire and forget weapon system, which means that it provides the highest level of survivability to the gunner because once the missile is underway towards the target, the gunner is relieved from having to be involved in that engagement, so therefore he can seek cover, concealment, take whatever action is necessary given the tactical situation. So we believe the Javelin brings a lot to the Polish forces, especially the Territorial Defense Force, because it is a very easy system to use and extremely easy to train. The Javelin gunner can be fully trained in the operation of this weapon in a period of really of minutes, but we take basically three days to put him through a number of different scenarios of increasing levels of difficulty uh, so that at the end of that three day period, they are fully proficient in the operation of this weapon and could go out and perform their mission in the field uh, without any issues. So, but this is training only using the simulator, so this is combined with the firing uh, live rounds. Uh, there is no requirement at all to do any live firings with Javelin. All the training can be done via indoor simulation. We do have an outdoor trainer as well, so if the force wants to go out and use the laser scoring mm -hmm. capability to work on techniques, tactics, and procedures, uh, they can do that with the system. But this is not, uh, not only the Javelin can do, this is much more uh, possibilities to use uh, Javelin even in the vehicle system, that's right? That, that is correct. Uh, we have, in fact, right now, U.S. Army striker vehicles over in Grafenburg, Germany, with what we call the Crows J. It's the common remotely operated weapon station mm -hmm. Javelin. And those vehicles are already equipped with the Javelin. The Javelin mounts right to the remote weapon station. So it's actually controlled by the operator inside the vehicle remotely and so now the gunner doesn't have to actually exit the vehicle to deploy the javelin it can be deployed just sitting on the vehicle with that remote weapon station um, and the fact that it's installed on the remote weapon station now because we have a an improved capability to detect recognize and identify targets at longer ranges we can take full advantage of the missile's capability to engage targets out to four kilometers and even beyond. Mm -hmm. uh, Javelin has shown itself to be able to engage targets out to ranges of four and three quarters kilometers and actually even beyond five kilometers. So, and I, I might also add that Javelin has a very good minimum engagement range capability as well. So that if you want to use this weapon in urban terrain for close combat, you can. It's a 65 meter basically uh, minimum range engagement. So literally in 
half of the length of a football pitch, you can use javelin, where some other weapons aren't, aren't quite as capable of those short ranges. They don't fuse an arm until they get out to more like uh, 200 meters to 400 so meters. So uh, in urban f fights, you can use the javelin. But you mentioned there's, there's about thousands of javelin missiles around the manufacturing. How many countries actually use the missiles, the anti tank weapon missiles, um, javelin? There are 18 countries that use Javelin in addition to the United States, so 19 countries altogether are ah, okay. current users of Javelin. So if Poland uh, select the, the Javelin system with a 20 country, uh, 2 0? Uh, yes. Wow, that's <laughs> if, interesting. if indeed they're the, you know, we, we're also trying to sell Javelin to some other uh, countries besides, you know, Poland, new customers, if you will. So. Um, yes, it would be great to have Poland be the uh, the twentieth uh, customer for Java. Okay. Yeah. So, well, basically, it. Thank you much for the conversation. Thank you. Appreciate it.